words and family, this is Megan Bone, aka Chalu Migu Saram Emni Bang. And a lot of you guys saw my Instagram that I acquired some Sailor Moon eyeliner. And actually, Charlotte in Japan, who lives in Japan, clearly, she actually uh, brought me some, you know, as a gift, the Sailor Moon eyeliner, and I really want it. And then finally, they're in Korea now. I was walking past, you know, the Watsons, and then they had these big Sailor Moon cutouts, and I was like, could this mean? Could this mean? Could this mean that they have the eyeliner? And it totally was true, they did. Except, even though they just got there, because I passed by every day, the ones with the wands are sold out. Okay, so there are two types of Sailor Moon eyeliner you can get. You can get the one that does not have the wand, and you can get the one that has the wand top. Now, in Korea, in Seoul, you're probably not going to be able to find the ones with the wand tops, but the wand tops are removable. So this is the wand top from the last one that Charla bought me. So I was like, no wand tops, no problem, because I already have one. So then I just bought the ones without the wand tops. The cost in Korea is very pricey. I don't know what their cost is in Japan, but in Korea, this is 18,000 won. In Korean, you would say, 18,000 won. Uh -huh. And this is 23,000 won, so it would be 23,000 won, which is like 23 bucks. Right, just extra five bucks just for this wand thing, man. But it's kind of worth it though, because you do look like a G. So actually, I'm very picky about my eyeliner. You guys know I just do the one line down. I used to do an up line, but then sometimes I still do it up, but then mostly it's down. I know a lot of you guys don't like it, but I don't care because I don't live my life for you. So it's actually very good. I'm comparing it with the eyeliner I used to use before the Sailor Moon one. The eyeliner that I usually use is the Kill Black eyeliner from Clio and or the one from Tony Moly. Just the regular like five bucks Tony Moly one is actually really good. Except it runs out so fast. Like I swear, because I use it every day, I swear after like three weeks, it's like running dry and I'm like, what's going on? How, how you, you can't just dry up on me? What? So comparing the two, they are actually, I feel like they are actually one in the same. The only difference is the Sailor Moon line is a little bit thinner and this one puts a little bit thicker line, but all you have to do is draw an extra one. So here is the Clio one. It comes off very thick, and here is the Sailor Moon one. It's pretty thin, so you have to like run it a few times. And the usage was about the same. I get usually like two months out of it. Yeah, roughly around two months of using it every day of just drawing the one line. And um, yeah, so in that case, they are similar. And in terms of staying on all day, like both of them stay, both of them stay on roughly the same amount of time. Like I wear it even when I do pole dance. I do, when I'm working out, I do have my little eyeliner on. It stays on all day through the sweating of pole dance, etc. But I did notice this one, if you touch it or rub it, it kind of crumbles off. So the left eye is the Sailor Moon eyeliner, the right eye is the Clio eyeliner. If you look at it, you can tell the left Sailor Moon eyeliner is a little bit lighter in color, so it's not as dark as the other one. Okay, so it's the end of the day. It's I've had my makeup on for roughly like 12 hours or something like that. And here's the Clio one on the left side. It's all there, like it's fine. Sorry for the lighting because I'm just in my bathroom. And this one is as well. But see how it gets those little like crumbly pieces? And when you like touch it, it like crumbles off very easily. But this one doesn't really crumb. Well, I guess it does. All right, whatever. They both wipe off, but this one crumbles off. So just be aware that the Sailor Moon eyeliner after about 10 hours or so and sweating will probably crumble off, but that's fine. So if you're gonna go to the club and wear it, I think maybe just keep it with you so you can retouch it. You're probably gonna have to retouch it. So anyway, <laughs> back to the studio. So you can get these outside of Watson's and some Olive Young's when you go out, but you have to get out like ASAP because they are selling out like crazy. Um, at the Watsons and Olive Young, you'll see a big Sailor Moon, you know, cut out outside. So it's probably there. Even if it's not there, just go. Maybe they decided that they were tired of Sailor Moon being outside and they just brought her in. Or maybe she was tired that day. I don't know. But anyway, some of you guys asked me to do a review on this. I don't really know how to review products and I've never really reviewed products before. But I hope that this helped you. So if you like this video and like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Like me on Facebook and I will...